The Wyatt Six, they're not targeting Chad Gable, but they are targeting Jay Uso, Mr. Yeet himself. Jay, get out of there! No joke, I believe Jay Uso is the true intended target. We all know that Chad Gable kind of bit the dust in the first appearance of the Wyatt Six, right? However, who did the Wyatt Six actually interrupt? Who did they stop celebrating? The celebration! That was Jay Uso. He was celebrating the crowd, doing yeet, 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 because he had just qualified for Money in the Bank, and that's when the lights went out. And we had forgot all about who they interrupted because their actual introduction was so impactful, and the fact that we saw Chad Gable kind of, you know, you know, it was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And then subsequent weeks, we've been focusing on Chad Gable's reaction, but low-key, WWE has been showing us Jay Uso's reactions as well. If you look at the digital Raw exclusives. You saw the end of the Raw too? I mean, I don't want no smoke with them. I mean, for all I care, they, they can have the Fireflies back. You know what I'm saying? Because I want no problem with them. He had also said on a previous Raw exclusive digital video, he was embracing the Fireflies and he was so thankful that the Fireflies had come to him and they were now part of his yeet movement. When the fire, Fireflies come out, man, it, like we, like I think about him, we all think about him, the whole world think about him, WWE Universe think about Bray Wyatt. Fireflies is always going to be out there yeeting with your boy, you know. But now, in these exclusives, he's saying, I don't want none of that Wyatt smoke. You can have the Fireflies back. So he's been low-key addressing it, while Chad Gable has been addressing it like, they're putting it right in your face. But I think that's because that is a red herring, and it's actually Jay Uso. Okay, so now you're saying, we got the first appearance linked to Jay Uso and Chad Gable. What about the Wyatt Six second Raw appearance. That one actually only has Chad Gable in it. Chad Gable wins the qualifying match to Money at the Bank, and that's when Sister Abigail slash the bride slash whoever she is, she comes out and gives, ooh, this makes me feel old, gives Michael Cole a VHS, and he explains it to the kids. This is a VHS, if you haven't seen that. Right of the childhood, all right? My back hurts now just thinking about that line. This is a VHS. Gotta explain it to the kids. Ouch. Regardless of that, a second appearance, no Jey Uso. Definitely happened during the Chad Gable match. I don't even think Jey Uso was on that Raw. So you're like, okay, well, that's your smoking gun right there. No Jey Uso. Chad Gable, second appearance on Raw. And so there you go. We're targeting Chad Gable. However... What if I were to tell you that there was an unofficial, official second appearance of the Wyatts that dealt with Jey Uso and not Chad Gable? That's right, and I've already done two videos on it, the Pat McAfee Show. Oh, okay. absolutely so, not. It's... Yeah, went right home. Oh, my goodness. What's going on over there? What the? What the is that? It's like with security like around here. The gist of it is, on a Thursday, we had the lights go suddenly out on the Pat McAfee show, which is a non-sanctioned WWE show where canon, canonical stuff actually happens. That's where we got the Rock heel turn. That's where we got Cody Crybabies on the Pat McAfee show. So, WWE actually uses the Pat McAfee show for storyline purposes. The lights go out, and it turns out the next day, they say, oh, it was just a drone attack, and it's a publicity stunt for some, like, I don't know, Navy SEAL writing a book. However, on the next day, when they announced that, okay, yeah, just all a bunch of fun publicity, at the end of that show, it abruptly cuts and says, in the blue, old school lettering you lied tell a friend something nice it the why is saying you lied pat mcafee we attacked you the day before and you're lying about that how does this have to do with jay uso it has to do with jay uso because pat mcafee literally said on a previous episode so i'm eating sweating and i'm like wow we're really running this a long time you know in my in my lungs and in my body and all of a sudden they do a power outage and in the video i, I got because i watched it back you see me still yeeting and then stopping midway. So on that first appearance of the Wyatts, Pat McAfee was celebrating with Jay Uso. So therefore, this second official attack that happened between the first and second appearance on their Raw episodes, the Wyatt stopped a Pat McAfee show. So there you go. We have now an appearance that does not involve Chad Gable, and we have an appearance that does not involve 
Jay Uso on the second one. And both Dallas has literally said, There's false prophets berating, belittling their family for their own gain. And he's just mad at people who do not respect family. He's like, you got these people out there. I'm paraphrasing here. You got these people who just care about themselves. They glorify themselves. They put themselves above the family. And this could definitely, definitely tie into Chad Gable because Chad Gable is in a storyline where he's like, oh, you know, the Elf Academy, they're like a family to me. And he was just so mean to them so horrible to them they left him and so we're all focused on that has to be it that's why they're targeting Chad Gable but we can't forget did we just have brother versus brother Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso Jay Uso had just left the bloodline after a three to four year storyline Jay Uso now a main event player putting himself before his family before his bloodline so Jay Uso could definitely fit into the Wyatt Six targeting so now the third appearance we have chad gable saying they should be after you Oos, the man who abandoned his family wwe they're doing these kind of storytelling where they don't necessarily shove it in our face over time they will start to hint that this stuff is important just like the QR codes. If you notice during like the last like couple weeks, Michael Cole would be like, oh, those QR codes, what are, what, what are those about? And that's what Chad Gable is doing now. Chad Gable is saying, hey, what's this about? Maybe you're the guy. So they're kind of reminding us that Jay Uso, he did some of this stuff too. The only thing your family did is what I did. And that's to get out from under a manipulative scumbag even if jay uso is the good guy and was justified in it he has left his family just like the wyatts are mad and in fact what if bo dallas is mad at jay for fighting his brother jimmy because he wishes he wishes his brother was alive and he would just love on him and jay you got a brother alive and you're just super kicking him at wrestlemania 40 having the worst match on the card and so now we're back to that third appearance the wyatts appear we focus on Chad Gable, while Jay, according to fan footage right here, he hides under the ring until all is said and done. And we focus completely on Chad, and we're all thinking again, ah, oh, yeah, has to be Chad, has to be Chad, but it happened with Jay and Chad. And then on the fourth appearance, we have Chad Gable versus Jay Uso match. They appear. Jay does get the victory because of the distraction. Oh, well, Chad lost. But again, it happened during a Jay Uso appearance. If Chad Gable is the sole target, then why is Jay continuously in it? And why is Jay continuously going backstage and having interviews about it? Because again, he literally says, The lights go out, scream and shout. We got to go. You feel me? I'm running. I don't want none of that smoke. He said that on two Raw Digital interviews after the show, and he said it in one Raw interview on the show. Man, I told Unk they could have the Fireflies. I don't want no smoke with the wires. They are keeping them in this storyline for a reason. And in reality, he has no feud going into SummerSlam. This would be perfect. Get the Wyatts and him into a feud at SummerSlam. I just really think that Jay Uso is the target because Chad Gable can easily branch off into a feud against Otis, the Alpha Academy, the Creed Brothers. He can easily go off into any direction. But Jay Uso, he he needs some kind of big feud in order to really give his main event status something other than just losing every main event match. He needs something. Now, he couldn't instantly be given the Wyatts because the Wyatts, they are coming in as baby faces. No one's going to boo them, right? But give them four or five weeks after the return pop dies down, then they just completely decimate Jey Uso maybe you have Jey Uso and Chad Gable into a match again the Wyatt Six surround the ring everybody thinks they're going to take out Chad Gable and then they go after Jey Uso and then it's like boo boo because everybody loves Jey Uso and now we rightfully hate the Wyatts because you can't have the Wyatts as good guys <laughs> they're just too creepy they're too creepy. Now, there is an all chance that they're just going after both and the Wyatts are actually purely neutral. They are chaotic neutral for you Dungeon and Dragon fans. They are just like, they will go after anybody who they feel has wronged family. 
but I don't think that's the case. I really don't. I think that Chad Gable will will just run away and never have anything to do with the Wyatts, and he'll be he'll sleep better at night while they're actually targeting Jay Uso. And you can see that out of the five appearances, Jay Uso has been a part of four of them, just like Chad Gable out of the five appearances. He's been a part of four of them, because I am counting the Pat McAfee show. Chad Gable has gotten the, the worst of it, but I think, I think, though, that a storm is a-brewing, and Jay Uso is going to get the worst of it really, really soon. What do you think? Do you think that Jay Uso is the true target of the Wyatt Six? And I hope he is, because he needs something to do, and so do the Wyatts. The Wyatts need something to do, and I would just love to see that at SummerSlam. Yeet! Please comment below. I acknowledge I acknowledge the storytelling of the Wyatt Six so far. It's actually pretty good. I had some reservations. I still have some reservations, but I acknowledge it for being good right now. I acknowledge Jay Uso, Chad Gable, everybody involved. This is great. Please comment below so you get a chance to win one of the belts. See, the Smoking Skull belt. You can win that. Once 10,000 subscribers happen, I'm going to pull a random comment and give away a belt. Your choice, please, below comment, like, subscribe, and have a great day. Run.